Hi guys, so today I want to do a video on balance and nursing. I get a lot of people that ask me this question, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to do a video on it and talk about how to balance your nursing life with your home and personal life. And, you know, really, this is going to be different for everyone. Everyone's going to have different ways, but I'm going to talk about my personal kind of approach on this topic. It's really hard, especially when you first start off as a nurse, to come home and leave your work life at work and then step in and be in your home life. You see a lot of things at your job, you're learning a lot of new things, it's overwhelming and it's hard to come home and just like not think about it. And I'm not saying that you need to come home and not think about it because we do need to process things that we see at work, especially when it, we're dealing with really sick people or dying people and just really difficult things that, that the normal person sees. But we have to do our best to, you know, leave our work life at work and then come home and be able to enjoy our time with our family, our friends, our pets, you know, whoever you're spending time with. I know one of the things that I like to do on my days off, besides sleep in because I'm really tired, is do things that I enjoy for myself. Whether that's doing a project around the house, cleaning, not that I enjoy cleaning, but I like the feeling of having a clean house, doing YouTube videos, working out, cooking new recipes, taking my dogs to the dog park. I enjoy doing, you know, those things. And so on my days off, I try to do those things for myself. If you're working 12 hour shifts as a nurse, it's almost impossible to do anything for yourself on those days. Pretty much you come home, you eat dinner and you go to bed. Like you don't have time to really watch a two hour TV show or, you know, really it's hard to unwind because you have to come home and basically go to sleep. You don't even really get to process the day. But it's important to find those things that you enjoy and also have healthy outlets, healthy hobbies that you enjoy doing. So that way on your days off, you have healthy outlets for doing things like working out, making sure you're eating healthy. If on your days off you're just always lounging around and you know eating a bag of chips and ice cream, then you're probably not going to feel really good about yourself. Not saying that you can't take those those days for yourself every once in a while, but I think it's important to find that healthy balance between, you know, healthy lifestyle, work, and then having those lazy days. It's also important to make sure that you take time off of work or not overwhelm yourself with picking up too many extra shifts for overtime. It's tempting when you, you know, you have your regular nurse income and then you realize for overtime you get time and a half. It's very tempting to, you know, pick up extra shifts and try and get overtime, but you know, really be careful on how much shifts you're picking up because it does take an emotional and physical toll on you, which then you're not available to be there for your family as best as you can or want to be. Now, I'm not saying like everyone go out and take a vacation. Well, I am saying that if you can go out and take a vacation, but I know it's hard to take vacations. It's hard to take time off bills. You have debt, you have the family to take care of, to provide for, and it's hard to just go and take a vacation, take time off. But of course, we should all strive in a perfect world to have that time off to get away from work and just step back and, you know, relax. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any other tips on how to balance your home life and your work life, leave those tips in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.